now most be now most video editing app now most basic ah now most basic editing now most video edit no now most basic oh, oh. hi guys it's daniel here and in today's tutorial you'll be learning exactly how to use kinemaster to edit your videos on android and on ios but for the sake of this tutorial you have to forgive my ignorance and my local accents because i cannot pronounce k-i-n-e as kine the only thing my brain is processing right now is kind so please forgive me i'll be calling it kind master so let's just dive in into the video let's go For now, I can see it is the best video editing apps that we have on Android and even on iOS because it packs in a lot of professional features used in apps like Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas and Adobe After Effects. So for the beginners, KindMaster can be a little overwhelming but don't you worry, I am here to explain exactly what each tool does and exactly how to edit your videos using KindMaster. Meanwhile, this video is just the basic knowledge of how to use KindMaster because KindMaster is a huge word on its own about video editing where I will only be taking the basic stuff. We'll be talking about the advanced stuff like cloning, superhero landing effects, masking, and so on and so forth. But we've got all the time in the world, so don't, don't worry about that. I will, I will take you on that. Now, as we proceed in this video, let me, know what, let me know what your favorite tips is. It might be from this video. You know, we don't stop learning. I am always in the comments box. I sleep there. And I want to say a big thank you to everybody that has been supporting from day one, to everybody that has slided into my DM, to those that are now my paddies. You know yourself? I don't need to mention him i just want to say a big thank you so let's go so the first thing to do when opening a new app is to check the settings to make sure the settings suit your taste so let's head over to settings here the version of kindmaster you're using might be slightly different from this one i'm using but the features are still the same thing the arrangement might not be the same but they are all kindmaster kinemaster so when we go to the about my account this is where you can get your subscription info if you subscribe for the pro version which will allow you to remove the watermark and you can also download some pro effects and features like that but i have never in my life used any subscription so under the editing settings you want to go to default photo cropping now by default ken burn slash crop and pan will be selected but it creates some kind of bonds and slow pan in your video so i would not recommend that i will just say you choose fit in screen yep and the audio recording source you can choose auto you can choose voice you can choose cam card that one is you know not necessary Continue. so for the sorting you can sort your project vowel date time name and stuff like that then under your file location you can choose where your recorded audio will be saved where your videos will be saved and that is pretty much about everything then under your exporting frame rate it is advisable to just use 30 fps but if you are using a high-end device with a snapdragon processor you can go for 60 fps this will just make your video much more smoother and the size of the video will be much more bigger and higher yes we are done with that and let's just dive into creating our first video so what you want to do is you want to tap on this and depending on the version of kind master you're using this might not show up it might just ask you to select aspect ratio which is 16 by 9 for landscape videos 9 by 16 for portraits and one by one for square size video so i'll just go on and select empty projects now and yes welcome to the big world of candy master so first of all let's talk about this big circle here this is where you can import your videos all your audios your effects even record your voice and all that cool stuff and and if you press this camera button here to open up your camera and start recording but i won't be doing that and here this button represents the kind master asset store in there you can get the effect you can get overlays you can get transition you can get music you can get fonts and all of that so let's talk about all the sidebars this is the undo button this is the redo button this is your share button in this version 
mind you in some version the share button will be around here and that is where you can export your videos and this is the settings button this is your expand button it will help you if you are having heaps of video layer or if you are having complicated timelines and you want the screen to be bigger this is what the button does and this last button here will help you to jump from the beginning of your video to the end of the video and this black screen here is your playback monitor it will help you to see exactly what you are editing and what you are doing to know if you are doing the right thing or you are lost will you keep quiet? if you are using the free version of the app you see a trash can here which will be showing the watermark of kind master and if you want to get rid of that you need to subscribe but if you don't want to go for the subscription i'll give a link for the pro version of this app so you can get that no need to stress yourself please i'm here for you so now let's go on and import some recording and see exactly what we are talking about all you have to do is to search for the video you want to use so this video is not out yet that means you'll be the set of people that will see it first so once you click on it it would automatically load in the timeline here and now you can back out of that but if you want to select more you can just go on and import everything all at once so if i press this button it will take me to the end of the video and if i press it again to take me to the beginning of the video so if you just swipe this left or right it can take you through the footage here you can see exactly where you want to work on as simple as that and you can also pinch to zoom and pinch to zoom and now if you have multiple videos selected you can tap and hold to arrange them something like this so one of the things I would advise you to do is if you are having any color adjust, color grading or color effect or effect or any effect you want to use, I would advise that you do them first of all because once you start cutting and cutting that would just make you go through a whole lot of stress because there is no copy and paste effect in kind master now let's talk about our color grading if you want to use any color effect or any filter here you just tap on the video layer and you want to go to color filter depending on the version you're using some it will show you that these are the basic color effects but this is not showing me so if you just tap on it it is as simple as just tapping and as you can see they are applied directly and these are nice looking filters that you can use so if i don't want to use any of this i can just go back which is my default and i can also use my color adjustment this is the brightness here okay and this is the contrast and this third bar here is the saturation so let's see i want to use this saturation okay now let's move to cutting and trimming of our videos if you just simply tap on it to bring out this yellow bar these are called handles you have them by the left and you have them on your right hand side too if i drag it in like this this will change the starting point of my video and if i drag it in this will change the handle part so i'll just undo this to bring everything back and now we are having our full video back again but that is not the only way you can trim or cut your video because i believe in every application there are always multiple ways of doing something so now wherever i want my video to be trimmed or cut i can simply swipe to that particular session let's say i want my video to start here all you have to do is tap on it and select this scissors button here now these are really now most basic video editing apps will just allow you to split as playhead we've got trim to the left or right of playhead we've got extract audio and also split and insert freeze frame which we'll be talking about in another video entirely because it is an advanced option so let's just go on and select split as playhead this will cut your videos into two and now this is where my video is starting and if i want i can just simply delete this one and now my video is starting here let's undo that and look at another trimming method we can click on that button again now what trim to left of player does is that it cuts out anything that is by the left and to leave anything that is by the right so if i just select that as you can see that is very very easy to do and it will save you lots of time if i want to cut out everything by the right hand side of this video i can just select trim to right of ps 
and yes that's that it is very very simple to do so let's say there's anything we want to cut out in the middle of this video all you have to do is just select it first and select that particular place and go back and choose split as playhead which will help you to split it and you can either drag this in or you can manually look for the particular section you want to cut out again and let's say i want to cut this place to out you can choose split as playhead again and now we are having three videos in this timeline and you can hold the particular section to arrange them just like i told you and you can just simply delete it and that part is gone but let's just undo everything we've done just now. so let's say i want to use a new layer i want to import another video you can just go to layer here and choose media and select your video once you do that as you can see this video is now in another layer of our timeline so you can simply drag it in and drag it out and you can reposition it change the position okay and you can even use the popular chroma key which is our green screen to remove the green background so far the background is green and we'll talk about that maybe in another video and now another thing you can add is you can put in your text and meanwhile if you have not subscribed to the channel please do it really means a lot and please don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so that anytime i post a new video you'll be the first to see it i have added my text and now i can drag it to the position i want the text to show and now you can change the position of your text you can drag it to make it apply to the whole, the whole video and you can also drag it so we can also add effect to our text just by clicking on it and we select this one here this will change the fonts of your text let's see i choose this one and here we've got the color panel where you can change the color put in stroke and all that and we also have in animation whereby you can use fade you can pop it you can slide it to the right and below here we have the timer where you can make it slower or faster stuff like that and here we have the overall animation you can make it blink throughout the whole video you can make it flickers okay i think i like this this is the opacity where you can reduce and increase it if you want we also have the rotate or the mirroring button which will allow you to change the mirror and this will help you to rotate it here we are having shadow if you want to use glow if you want to put stroke background color if you want i'll remove all of this they are useless to me okay let's use shadow and so that is everything you can do with your text and you can even edit it if you like by going here okay let me just press okay so anytime i play it it will flicker throughout the screen throughout the video rather jesus is lord I want to hear this. So next up, we want to import our audio. Okay, you can import any music in your local storage, and you can also import your recording. And you can also use some sound effects that are in the Kind Master Store. There are some music over there too, if you want. So if you tap on it, it will take you through the audio editing, which is kind of cool. This is the compressor if you want to use it and back out of that and these are the audio filters if you want to use any while well, this is the volume envelope and this will just help you increase or reduce your volume something like that i don't want okay back out of that and you can use background while the loop here is just the auto repeat so let's say you are not having a very long music maybe just six seconds recording and you can just use loop that will help you to repeat throughout the video track and yes you can extend to the end of the project that will cut it out and bring it to the end stuff like that and yes that is pretty much everything about the audio and yes before i forget if you want to fade in or fade out of your audio you can simply go to settings and under the audio settings here as you can see there's audio fading and there's audio fade out once i select this your uh, audio is going to be faded in and if i click out it's going to be faded out so let's just go on and so another thing we can do is if you want to zoom in and zoom out of our video 
it's very simple just click on it and cut it out cut that particular place out and let's say i want this place also to be zoomed in let's select it and also cut it out so let's play this out and see how it really looks like first of all So as you can see this is how it looks like and now we want to change it and now if we tap on it it will bring out the video editing tools whereby we have the crop we have the split and cut and volume okay there's also clip graphics if you want there's also speed control this will help you to make the video faster or if you want to use a slow motion effect something like that okay let's back out of this and we also have rotate you have color filter we talked about this we have okay and we also have the vignette this will create the black corners around the video okay let's back out of that and now what we want to do is this crop tool and and now very important you want to make sure your start position is equals to your hand position and you just want to zoom in you want to zoom in and you want to reposition something like this okay let's now save this and see how that looks okay so as you can see the video jumped in and so as you can see it is working perfectly so now the last thing i'll be talking about in this video is how to export so just clicking on this share button will take you to the export and share so this is the frame rate we talked about you can change it but i would advise you just to use 30 fps you won't probably feel the difference and also you can change the resolution we are having the full hd 1080p so the higher the resolution the higher the video is going to be and if you check below here you actually see the exact size of what the video is going to be when it has been exported so if I change the bitrate, which is also based on the video resolution and quality, so this video will be about 286 MB and I can also make it as low as 32 MB and even reduce it to as low as 30 MB. So yes, that is that about that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it has been useful to you. Please let me know what you feel in the comments box. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. It will not take you anything. You can follow me on Instagram at oluafunction97. And if there is any question on anything you want to tell me, apart from this that we talked about, or anything whatsoever, my WhatsApp number is always in the description box. So I'll be waiting for you guys. Thank you for watching and stay safe till next time I come your way. Peace out.